Good morning. Good morning, Alice. I thought we were having a PJ party. Where's the food? Yeah, we're starving. Well, how do you like your new breakfast globe? Breakfast globe? How about you go first, Billy? First at what? OK, this is going to be super fun. All you have to do is close your eyes. Now I'm going to spin the globe. And on three, you just have to point at the globe and open your eyes. One, two, three. Whoa. Ohayo, gozaimasu, Billy-san. You have chosen a traditional Japanese breakfast. Good choice. Um, what is this stuff? Okonomiyaki. Looks like a giant vegetable pancake, and that's because it basically is. This one has cabbage, corn, peas, carrots, spring onion, topped with special sauce and seaweed. Seaweed? Can I spin again? Nope. <laughs> Lily, you're next. Counting to three. One, two, three. Wow! Bonjour, Lily. Lunch is the main meal of the day in France, so breakfast and dinner, they're usually quite small. And hot coffee with a baguette with butter or jam is not an unusual sight in the Parisian morning light. Bon appétit, Lily. Yoink. Hey! Uh, next. One, two, three. Yeah. Welcome to the flavors of Israel. This morning we have shakshuka with pita bread. Our shakshuka has tomato, capsicum, onion, all baked with some egg. Our yellow demo, kids, won't leave the house without fresh tomato and capsicum and cucumber, which we call Israeli salad. Shalom, chaverim. Nice. Hmm. Can I spin again? No. Do you boys play sport? Yes, yes we yes. love soccer. soccer. What are some good um, foods and fuel for us soccer players? So we talk about with our athletes recovery and recovery nutrition is really important. It does lots of things. It helps to refuel your body so that if you've got play for the afternoon or soccer again tomorrow or another training, that you've got energy to be able to do that. So you might go home and you might have some lunch or at the end of the day, you might have some dinner for recovery. So you might have some stir fry veggies and some rice. So you also need all of these nutritious foods, but some protein with it as well, because your muscles and your bones and even your hair and your skin is all made of protein. That's right. So if you want those muscles to grow, it's the protein that you need. What about water? When you play soccer, do you get thirsty? Yes, definitely. Yeah, and so you need to drink a lot as well. And if you don't drink enough, what happens? You get really dehydrated yeah. and you can't run anymore, you can't kick anymore and you'll play a lousy game. Absolutely you do. So it's important to have lots of hydration so you don't get a headache, you can concentrate and you've got lots of energy for your muscles so you don't get tired and fatigued. All around almost all the athletes that we met, they all said something about food, the colours of it. That's right, it's really important to have different colours on your plate because the different colours have different nutrients in them. So if you're eating lots of these green vegetables, they've all got some similar nutrients, whereas your orange ones and your yellow ones are different again. So to keep your plate balanced, you need to have that rainbow of vegetables and some carbohydrate, but also some protein. You could cook up an omelette and into that omelette you could put some mushrooms and tomato and even some spinach and that would be really yummy and gives you some good energy as well. Or sometimes Morgan might eat things more like tofu, which will give you yeah, some protein she as well. Tofu. She loves that, doesn't she? And after my soccer match, I'm going to eat lots of protein. Sounds good. So amazing meeting you. Lovely Thank to you. meet you too, boys. Thank you for coming. Thank That's you for my coming. pleasure.